Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Re Report. Appreciate you guys for taking this time to hear me out once again. Another video concerning voting, concerning the presidential election, and another video, honestly, concerning another black man entertainer trying to shame black men into <clears throat> voting for Kamala Harris and trying to, well, they're not trying because they are approaching the situation as, as if they are the gatekeepers to keep black folks in line because that's what they're getting paid to do. Someone may not even realize that this is what they're paid to do to keep black people in line. When they start thinking for themselves and outside the box, you are to come and send a message to affect them, a message to keep them in line. And that's what you got people like Roland Martin, people like Steve Harvey, Dio Hughley, uh, Ricky Smiley. Now you also got Plies. <clears throat> Again, the same people Malcolm X warned us about. The same people Malcolm X warned us about. Entertainers. <clears throat> Entertainers. I don't need you telling me where to cast my vote. Make me laugh. Make some music. But you ain't gonna tell me where to cast my vote. Outside of what you do, Family Feud, I don't wanna hear nothing from you. Because you, you bring no value. You bring no real value to real life situations. And now you got flies. Another one. Another one that we gonna um, react to here today. And, and to me, it's funny how they come at us with such hate, such anger, as if, and, and, and they approach the situation as if, and always bringing Donald Trump in the situation as if everybody who's not voting for Kamala Harris is voting for Trump. I'm here to tell you right now, I don't support either. I don't believe in either. You, you can you can say, oh, well, um, you can say Republicans this, Republicans that. Which the, my thing with the Republicans is, is at least I know, at least I know what I'm getting. At least I don't have to watch my back with them. At least I know where I stand with them. But with the Democrats, I got to constantly, what you doing? Constantly check, constantly check. Constantly, they, they 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 can't help themselves but to always try and push this thing as if we just have to vote and not ask any questions. There are other people on the ballot. Why do I have to vote for them? Just because I'm not voting for Kamala doesn't mean I'm voting for Trump. I'm gonna vote. I'm going to uh, go with my best interest. If I decide to vote, I'm going with my best interest. It's like it's, it's seriously like asking somebody to just go to school. <clears throat> don't read over any of the materials. Just take the test. Don't even look at what you marked. Just take it and leave. That's what you're asking us to do when you ask us to just go vote. And we question things. We hate black women. We this, we that. Anyway, let's get into what Plies had to say. <clears throat> the latest, the latest uh, guilt trick. I mean, he's been speaking a lot, but this is this is the one right here. He, he went on this rant about um, Kamala Harris. It's real simple with me. Until Kamala Harris go to jail, until Kamala Harris become a convicted felon, until Kamala Harris five bankrupt six times her and her company until Kamala Harris is impeached twice until Kamala Harris is indicted four more times until Kamala Harris is found liable for sexual abuse until Kamala Harris is found guilty fraud and got to pay 300 and some other million you know, dollars until Kamala Harris start a insurrection until Kamala Harris try to overthrow a election until Kamala Harris is married three more times until Kamala Harris have five kids from three different until Kamala Harris do any of that She's a better candidate to me. Now you do whatever you want to do with your mother. But I'm not voting for no rich white man to be able to do whatever you want to do. I'm just not doing it. I don't hate women that much. And I don't.
He said, I don't hate women that much. So, it, it, again, listen listen to what you're saying, plus. Listen to how ignorant you are. You just told us to do whatever we want with our vote, but yet you're positioning it as if, if we don't vote for Kamala Harris, we hate her. Listen to what you're saying. You don't hate a black woman that much. So you can vote for AK, or you can vote for the KKK. You vote for whatever K you want to vote for. That's your business. But Trump been telling you since 2017, he gonna show you that mother health care plan. Has he shown you yet? He been telling you since 2017 that mother coming in two weeks. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be beautiful. Has he showed you yet? He told you he's going to overturn Obamacare. Did he do it? Yeah. He told No, he just changed the name and took credit for it. Like I said, I don't believe in Donald Trump. I don't believe in Donald Trump. And so I'm not sure what this rant is about. Just because I don't like Kamala, I got to like Trump. Just because I don't like Trump, I got to like Kamala. It, it, it's, it's honestly that simple. Neither, neither has our best interest. And we've seen that. Have you seen what happened four years ago? Compare that. Y'all like to say this administration has done a lot for us. But show me what this administration has done since 2020. Because they put us first in line to get a jab. Oh, your Mexico going to pay for that fuck ass ball over there. Did they pay for it yet? He told you going to raise my minimum wage. Did he do it yet? He was going to lower the price on prescription drugs. Did he do it yet? But she need the mother buying something? Ah, she don't ever talk about her pot. Yeah, she mother Dude, you just don't want a mother here. That lady told her she trying to get $25,000 a month trying to buy a home. Trying to build three more mother million homes. Trying to lower the drug prices for everybody, not just the elderly. Trying to get tax cut to the middle. That like trying to no tax on tips or whatever the hell it is. That lady telling you what she trying to fucking do. You just don't want to be it. Again, man. Cut it out with all the emotions. In questions, that's... Kamala Harris. He's claiming to be black, and if she's black, <clears throat> it is 100%. Her duty, her job, her responsibility to look out for her own people. The others do it for themselves. So why is it that every time we ask for something, we're just told to just go vote? <clears throat> this is the most important election of your life. Vote like your lives depend on it. You'll die if you don't vote or die. People die for the right for you to vote. They say this, they use the same script every single year. And now they're finally mad that uh, people are waking up to it. Because people are waking up to it more now than, you know, you've probably ever seen. And they're waking up to it. The same script. And, and the playbook, it's, you know, again, you see you see the migrant situation, the immigrants or whatever. What's the, what's the rumor that they, they're bringing these people in because they're bringing these people in because they know they're losing the black vote. So they're bringing in people from other countries. That's how you know that you're waking up as a people. We are waking up. Because now they're trying to replace our vote. You don't hear no celebrities really talking about the uh, migrant situation. Where do you stand on that situation? Is that is that right? That people get to just come in here who don't pay taxes, who you know didn't put anything in the pot, a country we built, and they just get to reap all the benefits of it. You know, that, that receipt that that store clerk showed of a lady, of a, a immigrant uh, food stamp balance, EBT balance or whatever, to where it was like $13,000 <clears> and like $7,000 in cash. They're replacing you. They're replacing your vote because you are starting to wake up. So they gotta find, they gotta fill that void now. But we also got this clip 
from the Breakfast Club, Charlemagne, DJ Envy, where they was reacting to what Plies was saying uh, because Plies said that she doesn't have to explain herself. And, you know, they, they were making some great points on the Breakfast Club. I don't they were that. making some valid points. Regardless of what their agenda is, they were making some valid points about the craziness that Plies was spilling about not questioning a black woman, <clears throat> not questioning Kamala Harris. So let's uh, let's hear let's hear this clip. Plies, Plies is absolutely positively wrong. If people are asking questions, that's great. I don't even know why Plies is making this a black woman versus black man thing. This isn't about black men and black women. It's about elected officials and potential voters. The whole point of campaign season is for candidates to go out there and explain to the American people why they should be the one in charge of this country. Votes are earned, not given. And they are earned through you going out there and explaining yourself. Vice President Kamala Harris has to go out there and explain her agenda and why she's the person for the job. Former President Donald Trump has to go out there and explain his agenda and why he should be the person to get his job again, you know, or get the job again. I don't understand plies or any black person, for that matter, telling black people to just settle. Just accept whatever the candidate is giving you. Don't ask any questions. Yeah, but Just vote. Doing it. They don't have to explain long, anything to us. They've been doing no. it for a long time. Man, even with, with Biden, when, when we ask questions to Biden, well, it's the best of two evils. You know what I mean? We, we, you got to pick one. But no, if you have questions, people should be able to ask. Listen, that, that's the point of a politician, right? They're supposed to represent us, represent our district, represent our country. Shouldn't we ask? Forget. And, and by the way, they, they should be explaining without us asking. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of them doing these press conferences and the meetings. Yeah. The same way these politicians have meetings for their donors and they have rallies right. and press conferences explaining themselves and their agendas to certain groups, they should have to explain themselves to black people the same way. Plies is a billion percent wrong. 100%. 100%. And regardless of what their agenda is, they are absolutely right about that. I'm not, I don't have to pick the less of two evils. Donald Trump, he, he, may, he may just very well be a racist. But I'm, I'm not caught up into that. I can't control that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know what y'all think about this situation. Be sure to hit the like button. <clears throat> share, subscribe. Again, you're going to get more of these people coming out. But like I said, a lot of people are starting to wake up to what's going on in this situation. Because it's just... You, you can't... I mean, <clears throat> we've been fooled long enough. So long that we... We should have waken up sooner, woken up sooner. Again, you saw the video I posted yesterday. Steve Harvey talking about, you know, reparations and how they're not going to give us what they owe us if we don't vote. I mean, how long has slavery been over? Like what? Almost 200 years, 160, 70 years or something? Like how, how much longer do we have to wait to get what we owe? How many more votes do we have to cast? Anyway, I'm out. Let me know what y'all think. I just told you a little while ago, these leaders that they call leaders, this included Lena Horne, this included Dick Gregory, and this included comedians, comics, trumpet players, baseball players. Show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader. Show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader. These aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns that uh, have been set up over the white community and or over the black community by the white community and have been made celebrities and usually say exactly what uh, they know that the white man wants to hear.